Welcome to the Biblically Centered Kids Podcast. Today is a great Sunday. My name is Miss Danica, and I'm excited to share some fun things with you and then guide you on a draw along. It is February 11th, 2024, and today is the last Sunday in the season of Epiphany. This is a time where some churches and people celebrate when the three wise men, or magi, came to visit Jesus. They gave him gifts and celebrated him as God's son. Isn't it so cool that these very smart men recognized who Jesus was when he was just a small child? Do any of you remember what gifts they brought Jesus? That's right. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. How would you like to get those things on your birthday? The gold sounds nice. But I'm not sure what I would do with a bunch of frankincense and myrrh. Hmm. Are any of you watching football later today? In the U.S., it's Super Bowl Sunday. And here in Kansas, where I live, we will definitely be eating some yummy food and cheering on the Kansas City Chiefs. Are you cheering for them or for the 49ers? Well, whichever team you root for, I hope you have fun being with friends and family and that you get some delicious snacks and treats. All right, it's now time for our weekly draw along. Today, we will be drawing a picture of our Old Testament story from Thursday of this week, the prodigal son. So get your pencils, crayons, or markers, or whatever else, all ready because we are about to create a scene from our story on paper. I'm going to do my best to describe what I'm drawing as I go along, but just remember that this is art. It's okay if your picture isn't perfect or is a little different from what I describe. Just have fun and be encouraged to keep trying every week. Feel free to add your own touches to make it special to you. Today, we're gonna focus on perspective with our drawing. Do any of you know what perspective means? It's when you can tell that there are things up close and then other things far away. So for our drawing today, we're gonna make it look like our prodigal son is far away and the forgiving father is right up close. So to start, I have my paper horizontally. That means it's wide across. And I'm gonna draw a horizontal line near the top of our page, maybe a third down or maybe a few fingers down. And this will separate the sky above from the ground below. All right. Now, to start, I'm gonna put the small figure of the prodigal son right underneath that line I drew, way over on the left side of my paper. And we're gonna make him pretty tiny, maybe like two or three fingers tall. So I'm gonna start and draw his head. Okay, got a circle for that. Then for right now, I'm gonna kind of mark out his body like a little stick figure, but then I'm gonna kind of put a coat on him. And he's rugged, man, he's been through it. He was eaten out of the pigs and he was not living really good. So I'm gonna make his clothes look kind of raggedy. There's not a ton of detail because he's way back there, kind of tiny. I'm gonna kind of make him have like this almost like a sad face, because he's sad that he's coming, but he's hopeful that his dad will take him back. Okay, so I've got him way over there, and he's pretty tiny, okay? All right, and I could even add some little swirls of dust, maybe around him or behind him, because man, he's been with those pigs, and he just, is stinky so let's try to make it to where he 
Looks like he's just a ball of dirt back there, kind of. All right. So now, towards the right side of our paper, near the bottom, I'm going to draw the forgiving father. And to make it seem like he's really up close, I'm going to make him from about his waist or his belly button up. And I'm going to make it to where he's turning to look at his son. So his back is going to be towards me. So first, I'm going to draw his head kind of in the middle of my paper. And it's going to be pretty big because he's real big to show that he's near us and his son is far away. So I've got his big head. And then I'm going to kind of come down and I'm going to make him wear a coat. And I'm going to have his arms way out wide. Like he's waiting. He can tell it's his son. And he's waiting there with his arms wide open, ready to give him a hug. Okay, so I've got his arms way out wide on his left hand. That's on the left side of my paper since he's facing that way. I'm going to make his fingers. He's got five fingers, his hand coming out of his coat. And on mine, his right arm is actually off of my paper. So I'm not going to draw his right hand. But if his hand is still on your paper, you can draw that. And then the back of his head. So I'll kind of draw some swirls and stuff like hair, like it's the back of his hair. Have you ever seen the back of your head? Isn't that interesting? We never see the back of our head. <laughs> huh? So if you need reference, maybe get one of your siblings to turn around so you can look at what their hair looks like from the back. And he's got a coat. Maybe I kind of decorate it. Maybe I kind of add stuff to around the arms or around the neck. Because his father was pretty wealthy and so I think he would be wearing a really nice coat. Okay, so I've drawn some stuff on that. Okay, so now I have my two people. So I have my little tiny prodigal son way over on the left. And I'm my big forgiving father over on the right. And now to kind of make it look like we know what's happening, I'm going to make a path from the prodigal son to the forgiving father. But it's going to start out kind of close by this son. And then as I get down to the forgiving father, it's going to widen up. So you can tell that the path gets wider as it gets closer to us, right? Okay, so the path is getting wider. So it's small, close by the sun. And then it gets wider. Both sides get wider as it gets to the father. All right, so those are the main portions of our picture. So now we get to kind of make it our own. So maybe on my path, maybe I'm going to draw like some big rocks and things. Maybe it's like a big rock path. So I can just add like some little circles or squiggles for different shapes. Rocks are all kinds of different shapes. And remember, make them bigger as you get to the forgiving father. And make them smaller as you get back towards the prodigal son. So it kind of looks like we have a small path to a big path. Maybe I'll put a sun, maybe, or maybe in yours, maybe it's nighttime. You don't know. So you can draw a sun. You could have it show all the way or just kind of peeking through at the top. You could draw some clouds. Let's see, what else do we remember? The father was very wealthy, so maybe he was on a farm with lots of fields. So you could draw some fields kind of out there that they're running next to. Or it says, you know, that he had a, a cow prepared for his son for them to eat, to have a big feast. So you could um, draw some cows maybe out in the field or a goat or any kind of animal. I don't know what he would have had. So yeah, you can just kind of fill in and play around with that. But we have our two figures, so that way you'll be able to explain to a sibling or a parent that you have your prodigal son. Man, he just had a rough time 
He's coming home just to ask to be a servant. And then his dad is running, his arms outstretched, ready to welcome him home back to the family. And that's just, again, like we talked about on Thursday, it's just a great picture of God, how he always welcomes us back after the wrong things we've done. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoy drawing with me today. Now, if you want to remember what our virtue is this week, remember we talked about all about forgiveness and that's what we just drew. You could write the word forgiveness either up at the top or down on the bottom or even on the back. And I'm going to spell that big word for you. Okay. Are you ready? Forgiveness. F O R G I V E N E S S Forgiveness F O R G I V E N E S S So that is what this picture is showing us And so that's what we're remembering to do from this week, that we forgive others and we can also accept forgiveness from them. All right. So I encourage you to keep drawing or if you want to do it on another piece of paper to kind of get things cleaned up a bit. Sometimes I do that, kind of draw a sketch and then you can draw it again or you could add color or all sorts of things. And just remember that when you look at this, it's showing us the power of forgiveness. Thank you so much for joining on our Draw Along adventure today. I can't wait to see you next time for more fun. Bye, guys.